What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fast Lane Pros. I'm glad you could join us. I hope everyone is having a great day. And today we are taking a trip, about a two and a half hour trip. In case you don't know, we recently picked up this 1985 GMC Sierra Classic. It has a few issues. It's not perfect, but we're going to get it that way or at least try to get it that way. We're gonna put in a lot of work on this truck and we are on our way to pick up a power plant that's <laughs> gonna bring this thing alive. Well, currently it has a 305 in it, nothing special, we all know that. Um, but she has a little rust, she's not perfect. Um, but thanks to our friends at LMC, we're gonna order all of our interior pieces that we need for this thing. It doesn't have a driver's side window right now, but that's why she's under the carport. Hey, but we do have these. That's going to. <laughs> future plans. I'm not going to give any of those away, but we've got some big plans coming for this truck. All around, it's a pretty clean truck. These are really rare now and getting hard to find. Um, if you do find them in good shape, they're either restored or have been sitting put away you know by some uh some uh older person that that's hung on to them and they're worth a lot of money like usually a truck that's in excellent shape anywhere from 10 grand and up so we picked this one up for thirty five hundred dollars a little steep but a lot of the trucks i were i was looking at lots of rust rollers and they're going for twenty five hundred 3500 so i felt it was a pretty good deal on this truck um mainly i just wanted to lock down a body this has always been a dream truck of mine my step uncle had one when i was a kid brand new that my grandfather had bought him and i just fell in love with that truck from day one so jonathan Jane named this little jimmy little jimmy the race truck so it's the race truck it's low jimmy we're going with a big block in it <laughs> we're gonna put some power down murica but uh Mur we got a bunch of things coming to the channel um stay tuned we got a suburban obs build bj's truck that he picked up what's up oh what shirt is that let's check that out what does it say just remember, if we get caught, you're deaf and I don't speak English. Okay. Okay. We're, <laughs> oh, so, we're going to take this trip and uh, go pick this power plant up. And we'll reveal what it is to you guys once we get it in the Titan and on our way back home. So let's ride. Okay, guys. So we're in the truck and we are headed to go get the motor. I'm not going to give it away. Y'all are going to have to see it. So, uh, we are about 40 minutes away. And we've been on the road for what? Not a good solid hour now. A solid hour? So, we have 40 minutes left. Yeah, there's Bucky's. And we are almost... Okay guys, so we're about to pull up at the seller's house and we have made it. We've been on the road for another 40 minutes. We got here and we're almost here. And dang, he lives in like the mountains. Look at that. Mountains. Just, or mountains. Hills. <laughs> Hills. I'm sorry guys, I'm not, I'm not used to all this, but where's it at? Guys, check out the Tahoe, aka Joseph. Look, dude, oh, check that out. Oh, wait, the Tahoe. Dang. 
Alrighty guys, um, we're not gonna put him on camera out of respect for him, but we're gonna go ahead, back up here, load this thing up, and get on the road. We'll stop at a store or something, show you guys what we picked up. So, yeah guys, this motor is, can I tell them what it is? No, we're gonna reveal it here in a minute. Sorry guys, I can't tell you. But we're not just gonna put a camera in his face, have some respect, so uh, let's go get it. Alrighty guys, so we had to come to O'Reilly. Um, the guy failed to mention that he had no way to lift this motor and for us to get it in the truck. So we came to O'Reilly and we're about to buy an engine hoist. Finally, we needed one for a really long time. It's time to break down and get one. So let's do this. <laughs> We're taking all of it. The whole thing. Oh, signs man. too. We're taking the signs too. <laughs> okay. Let me get these, these off of here. We'll get you rung up here at the third chief's register. Okay, hold the big block. Perfect. Two ton. It should hold. It should hold it. We'll find out. We'll see how well AC Delco holds up. That's good. Come back. We are probably going to need that. That's what we'll set the motor on. We aren't, we aren't going to need the tire. We thought we might need a tire to set it on, but I think we'll be good. We've got our homemade engine crate here. Oh, I'll break the back glass. It'll ride. We're not going that far. It's 0 0.8 miles to a stop. Okay guys, so um, we picked up the motor, the motor's in the truck. We had to pick up the engine stand, and we already got the thing out of the truck. Let's just say, to get into a truck is not easy when you're cramped up a truck. So, let's get this thing back to the house, and we'll catch you guys at the house. Let's go. With that being said, we're gonna get this thing home, and I don't know if we're gonna to attempt to unload it today because it was a job getting it in this truck. We had to go buy an engine hoist, and it was just a lot of work. Yeah. All right, guys, so next day, we made it home with the 454 nice and safe. Titan hauled it, no problems. Although she was squatting in the back, that big 454 has got some weight. But we finally got it off the truck and into the garage. We went and bought us the engine stand and we're about to slap it on the engine stand. But I'm not 100% sure if I wanna start breaking the motor down or just slap a cam in it and send it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but the motor looks good. We just need to order a set of headers for it. I've got to order a transmission because the guy that sold it to me had a 4L80E. He sold it the day of. It was supposed to come with the transmission, but here we are, and I've got to find a transmission for it. So 
I think we're just going to cam it, put headers on it, and maybe do another intake. I'm not quite sure yet what route we're going to go, but we've got the whole wiring harness. Um, we've got the whole PCM ready to go. And I may have to find a fuse box out of a newer um, truck around a 2000 model because this came out of either a 2500 or 3500 Chevrolet. We got a good deal, I'd say, on it. A really good deal. Um, I'm ready to see what this thing has. And yeah, I believe that is all we have to say in this video. So. Be ready for the next coming video, and like always, hit the like, share, comment down below, and yeah. Alright guys, roll the outro.